Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here, bringing you another math video. This one on um, the definition of derivative and having a better understanding of what it actually means. So you've probably done some, you know, very basic intro to um, the definition of derivative in your calculus classes, or maybe you've done a whole bunch of examples and stuff, and you're still kind of wrap your head around it. So when you first start talking about derivative and calculus, one of the first things that's mentioned is the average rate of change. So basically what the average rate of change is is, um, is sort of how much something changes between a couple different points, so maybe two points. So, um, you know, if you're driving from um, I don't know. I'll name two spots close to me. So from St. Anthony to Cornerbrook, which for those of you who have no idea about Newfoundland, is about 500 kilometers away. And um, I asked you, you know, what was your speed when you left St. Anthony? And it was a, uh, you know, 80 kilometers per hour. And then what was your speed when you got to Cornerbrook? And it was 100 kilometers per hour. We can calculate the rate of change based on, you know, how much time you drove and all that kind of stuff. Um, so basically what you do in order to, to calculate the average rate of change, well if we have a graph so let me just draw a parabola, nice smooth curve hopefully and we want to um, uh, calculate the average rate of change, so I'll just make a point here, so that's somewhere here and we want to calculate the average rate of change between these two points, well all I really need to do is think of this as a line so that line that connects those two points actually is called a secant line. And the slope of that line, so the slope of that secant line, is equal to the average rate of change, what my students call the A rock. So, uh, and of course we know that slope is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Now, let me just give these points some names. So I'm going to call this first point here x, and I'll call the second point, instead of calling it y, I'll call it f of x. So f of x, you know, is exactly the same as y. It's just, you know, it could be 2, 1. And I could call f of x is equal to 1, or y is equal to 1. No difference. So this point, you can see it's a little bit to the right on the x-axis. Um, so it's some distance away from our original x. So I'm just going to call that distance x plus h. So h is just a positive number um, and it's to the right of um, that point. And so this, uh, the y coordinate of this point must be f of x plus h. So all I would do is plug it into the function to get the y value of it back. And that's it. So those are my two points. So now if I want to find the actual uh, rate of change of this line, I just sub it into my slope formula. So my y2, I'll take this, so it's f of x plus h, f of x plus h, minus f of x. And that's all over, um, so I get x plus h minus x. And then I'm left with f of x plus h minus f of x and that leaves me with just h on the bottom. So this would actually calculate the average rate of change. But what if I revisit my Cornerbrook trip um, from St. Anthony to Cornerbrook and I said well what was your exact speed when you were in uh, Flowers Cove? And you might be able to tell me what the exact speed was. So in order to calculate that exact speed, we're looking at exactly one point. So that's a little bit tougher to do. Um, so what we would really need to consider at this stage would be a line that touches the graph at exactly one point. So we want to find the slope of this line. So I'm going to attempt now to draw a tangent line. And I think the batteries in my uh, my calculator are kind of crapping out on me here, or my uh, pen tablet. So let me see. So I would want a line that touches the graph at exactly one point, just like that. But now the problem is, how do I get that point? How do I find the slope of that line? I need some more information about it. I only have one point. 
So what I want to do, and what we're going to do is we're going to instead of instead of um, actually finding the slope of that line, let's find the slope of a line that's really really close to that line. So if I pick um, if I pick a, another point that's a little bit closer to this guy, so let me just pick another point. I'll get another color. Um, so let's say this point right here. And you can see if I connect those with a line, that's a little bit closer. But you know, it's not quite good enough, right? We needed something even better. So let's, let me get some purple here, or pink. And let's pick this point even closer to that so I'll, you can see it's getting really really close so what's going to be the best approximation of this um, blue line here well what we want to do is take this guy right here and we want to get it as close to zero as possible so we want to actually take the limit as h goes to zero so that this this point gets so close to this green one that you cannot even tell the difference so that it's so close that the blue line and whatever color line I would have for the other type are essentially exactly the same so what that is of course is our derivative because that's all the derivative is it's the slope of a tangent so in order to calculate that we would have alright let's see um, we would have f prime of x, and I've resorted to the mouse pad here, is equal to, so then I'd have my limit as x, or sorry, not x, h goes to 0, sorry, limit as h goes to 0, and we're going to take the limit of this guy. So the limit as our points get really, really close together. So it's like um, a limit of the average rate of change. So um, we get f of x plus h, and here we go, minus f of my pen tablets really cause me problems here guys f of x all over h so let me see if I can't uh, tighten this up a little bit here here we go and this is f prime of course so there we go so f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h so this is any time you're asked to calculate the derivative using the definition of derivative or the limit definition this is the guy that you want to go to um, so using this guy again is a whole different skill altogether so um, you can check out one of my videos I have of definition of derivative um, definitely worthwhile because uh, definition of derivative really is a standard first year calculus final exam midterm exam unit test um, assessment question really really important to have a great understanding of be able to do it especially for my students who are writing a big calculus exam this weekend really important that you need to know how to do it so um, good luck to you guys and uh, thanks for watching